Algo holders, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Malt Money. Here we talk about stocks, financial news, and cryptocurrency. So if you like talking about money, please go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell below. And let's jump right in. Woo, what a nice day we had today. 13.9% up, sitting at 183 at the present moment and hit all the way up to 190. I wanna talk about why we do not sell as long-term investors on red days. If we go out a month, we're still up 59%, 59.51 at the time of this recording to be exact. But look at all these dips, right? Yesterday and the day before, everyone was panicking because all the FUD that was coming out of China that we know was just FUD and does not affect the cryptocurrency market or the beautiful blockchain technology that we are utilizing and what we are going to utilize in the future. We know it is FUD and we're still down. We're still down 10.05% on the week. We're still at a great buy at 183. So later on, I want to talk about that price prediction and where I see this going at the end of 2021. But this is exactly what I was saying the other day. Don't listen to FUD. Don't sell on down days. Buy the dips and continue to dollar cost average. Because here on this channel, I want to ensure that we are not doing this day to day back and forth trading. I want to, I want my viewers and I'm being greedy on this, but I want my viewers to be long term investors and believers in Algorand because I think that that, I don't think I know that is where the money is with Algorand. You can make a few bucks here and there day trading and swing trading cryptocurrencies. But if you want the honest truth, what I believe and what I know, as far as buying into these cryptocurrencies, it's that you buy and you hold. When it dips low, you buy more. And this is exactly why we see this a monstrous pop that we had up today, 13.98%. I want to talk to you about what I do on those down days because, of course, I get scared as well. I get fear when I see my portfolio take a huge dive. But you know what? One of the main things I do is I do this. I hop over here to the websites and I go back and reiterate some of the information is information I already know. But I take a look at the use cases. I take a look at what Algorand's doing. I take a look at all this. Look at all these different use cases. The list goes on and on, guys, of major corporations and companies that Algorand is working with. I take a look at the creator, Silvio, who created Algorand. He was a professor at MIT in electrical engineering and computer science department. You can't tell me this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's been doing this since 1983. He studied cryptography. He knows this, right? Silvio received a degree in mathematics from the University of Rome, a PhD in computer science from the University of California at Berkeley. I'm sure many of you as viewers have heard of Berkeley before. Like this guy is no joke. He's been in the game for a long time. So, and then of course I look at more current information. I look at what's going on, right? I look at news articles and we can see that they're doing constantly providing ways for the payment infrastructure. We can talk about that. We can talk about all this on my channel. So let me know in the comments below, what do you want to know about Algorand? I can talk circles around anyone in regards to Algorand, I guarantee it. And that's not bragging, that's just me telling you, we need to educate the world on what these cryptocurrencies are doing. We know that Algorand is working in the music space, now working in arts, listen to this. In its unique sale story, the Sprint was in fact bought using cryptocurrencies, the digital currency technology that also powers ArtSquare. And the story continues. In order to celebrate the partnership with Algorand, ArtSquare will accept only Algo 
as a form of payment for the fractional shares of Courage. To learn about how you can now own fractional shares in Courage by Damon Hurst, sign up to rsquare.io. So there you have it. They're using Algorand. They're only going to accept Algorand. What do you think is going to happen to the price of Algorand as all these projects decide to go with Algorand? So I promised that I would cap this off with a price prediction. That's what I intend to do. Now, we've had a huge run today. This is not healthy and sustainable, so I do anticipate us to come down a little bit. I could honestly see us digressing, you know, maybe another 5-10%. But then I see another healthy pop coming because, again, we are still down 10%. We are up, yes, 59%, but we're just getting started when it comes to Algorand. I'm a long-term believer. I guarantee you this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I can tell you that in five years from now, we will be much, much higher than 183 where do I see this going at the end of the year? I told you the other day, I stand by this. We could see this easily from six to $10 range by the end of 2021. We see what can happen in a day. Again, we were up about 22, 23%. We're in a bull market. I don't care what anyone says. Don't listen to the FUD. We're still in a very strong bull market. And I can tell you that if we have days like this continuously up and downs for several weeks, we will hit those price targets. So don't listen to the FUD. Tune in every day because I'm going to be bringing you Al Grand News every single day. I asked the audience a few days ago if you would like a daily news feed, and that's exactly what I intend to do. I'll give you those price targets. We'll follow this particular cryptocurrency very closely, and I will see you in the next video.